We're switching it up. We just got off of a longer JRPG game. I'm playing Frog Detective. This sweet, seductive jazz. You may hear someone in the background sometimes, because I'm in a party with a friend. I don't know. Oh! Okay. So this is where this comes in handy. So we're gonna do case one today. We're going to do case one. So we are going to play... Now I know a category to put it under. <laughs> uh, Friday Detective 1, The Haunted Island. Okay. So, I think I might just do... I think I'm just gonna do each different case is gonna be its own stream. Huh? Uh I don't mind that. Uh give me one second. Hold up, let me reset my mic. It's being all buzzy with the audio. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's working. Got to interact using A. Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. And that's gonna be my penguin voice. My penguin voice is gonna be all... Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's your life? Or, how's life? Uh, yeah, pretty good, I reckon. Uh, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well. Salamat da da tang kembali, or kimbali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for ya. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. Their ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you the second best investigator. Now that's pretty fucked, because in my opinion, I'm... I got this. I fully understand Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I have to be very brave. <laughs> I believe in you, detective. That's just what I need to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo. <laughs> can, you, can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who is hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. I honestly don't know how long cases are. Well, oh, there's a little picture of me at a party. It looks like, or a playground. 
A magnifying glass? Ah yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Got your magnifying glass. Look through your magnifier with RT. Ah, I see. Time to solve a mystery. Frog Detective Adventure. Larry, Larry a lobster, or is that a shrimp? Or the mouse mouse? Ernie. Fresh eggs. And the rest. Case the blue one, the haunted island. What's the monkey's name again? No, it's maybe. Hmm, maybe a man in a suit. Mystery monkey. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures, I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When I figured out who was behind the forest theft in which town, I couldn't believe it. That no rule would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mr. Monkey, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. <laughs> of course, can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? The resident. May I ask who the resident of the island is? Ah, uh, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Mm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Uh, where to start? Where should I start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry the tall red one. Always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. What'd you like to know? Uh, nothing. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. Stick around. Hmm. Starfish has a phase. Yeah, I see Larry. I'll go to him. Okay. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Buy me. It's koala hula hooping. There's potions. Ooh, there's a magnet. Notes. Some hole? Noises? Need some... Oh, need some to tomatoes for soup? Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. This might come in handy. Got a magnet. Aha. There's a crab here. Where are you? There's a hole. Is this a sheep? Noodle. Hey. How's it hanging? Yeah, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious, why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? 
Isn't Hunting Ghost supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck, it's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Ah, uh, surely that's not true. And maybe not, but it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. Haha, uh -huh. are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross, that's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but... Slime is kind of gross anyway, and I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Uh, yes please, but you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom or like, fire? Cool, okay. Probably won't use fire. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? What if I ask more questions? Ask away. The hole. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes, but not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. <laughs> Who's stopping you? The boss? Who's the boss? I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe? Maybe not? Okay. Mind if I ask some more questions? Ask away. Nothing right now. No questions right now, thanks. So I need a broom. Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. So I need something to get his wool. Why you are back here? Being a detective. Oh, there's there's a koala that did the painting. Hi, howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm, and it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in the storm. Everyone keeps swimming to get out of the sea, but it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said, We don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you, it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast, too. Nice. Right? I don't have any idea where to find one, though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? Do I give him the magnet? Do I give him the magnet? Uh, the thing is, I don't know if it, fuck it, I brought you a magnet, what, like, a real one, are you for real, yeah, this is a dream come true, thank you so much, no problem, in return I'll give you this big shell, I don't need it anyway, great, thanks, wow, a real magnet, so now I got a shell, This is fun, but I gotta get back to work. I 
Eyes with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? Ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Mm, maybe two weeks. Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? I don't know. Nothing for more bugs back. Fresh eggs, howdy, hello. Are you the, uh, yep, great. You brought my toothpaste shipment, huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective, oh, okay. Can I call you D Tech? Yes, nice. Ask some questions, is that okay? Take it away, D Tech. Your clothes. Aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some fun. You're right, uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, d -tech. Your smile. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you, I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. Trademark, of course. Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. Trademark. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow. Where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? Um, well, I could give you my tube. But I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask some more questions? Take it away, D-Tech. Back later with some questions. Well, I got a shell. Is this a, is this a plate of noodles? Yum, but it's not mine. Can't take the plate of pasta? Can't get any further down. What are you umming to, Evan? Hey, do that. Oh, hold up. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be right back. I'm going to go grab food. This will only take me but a second. I just gotta grab my burrito. Okay, I am back. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that monkey keeps going on about? That's me. Uh, I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Hold up. 
Uh, why did you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. It's co still could be a cover. Maybe that. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the the case? What else do you want to know? Tell me about this hole. You know about the noises coming from this hole. I mean, I'm not great at this job. Be good at other jobs. I'm just letting you know, but does seem like the noises coming from the soul aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? Secret agent? Uh, what do you mean by secret agent? You mentioned... You want to be a secret ag agent? Why? Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. What'd you say? What else do you want to know? Magnifying glass. Why do you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean why? Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? Listen. Fine, fine. You're not a secret agent. Whatever. What else do you want to know? Nothing right now. Suits yourself. Talk to this dude. Larry, hi, it's me, Larry. Hello. I did not do it, huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't. I, I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. Now here, I, I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? Dude, this dude just keeps cutting me off. That's such a relief. Can I? Are you gonna ask me questions? Yeah, ask them. The questions, I mean. The noises. What can you tell me about? Firstly, I am not the one making it. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, "Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you." Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe they. I am a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things to get through there. You'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just a standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me then the questions I mean. Uh, explosion? Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need toothpaste, some wool, chunk up your gold, and some pasta. Thanks. Okay. So, none of those mean anything right now to me. Okay, so I see where the pasta is. How do I take the pasta? Whose pasta is it? Is it your pasta? I need to know whose pasta this is. There's pasta right there. I just need to know. I need to get him something that can clean his teeth. I found a broom. Ooh, a broom. So I got a broom. Give me your wool. Uh, 
Hey, I got that broom ready to clean. Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep the broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? Still weird, but yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically, knock yourself out. Phew. So now I got wool and a shell. Uh, I need something. That's the cave entrance. Uh, talk to this guy first. Ah, stop right there. Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I won't. You can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small, aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells. From dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I did get one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. Tiny shells? Why do you just get why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha. You fool. Hey, sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me, but I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Ask me questions, just be careful. Take this big shell and I'll take your magnifying glass. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells, but I won't need it. I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing, weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Okay, now I'm curious. Is, is there actually... Sh you got no shells, you fucking liar. Give this guy this magnifying glass and hopefully get pasta. Questions, questions, questions. What else do you want to know? I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? What time is uh, There's very literally nothing. I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is sati satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. I have pasta. No, I just need toothpaste. Toothpaste and gold. Is your crown gold? Can I get your crown? Wow, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I, I was visible from the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess it just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. Your king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and finally Finley, so I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask who's Finley. Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Go ahead. Got questions for me? Who's Finley? your friend Finley who's that Finley lives in a nearby island and comes to visit every few days the last time I saw Finley she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition the moves were pretty amazing not like me she'll probably win I haven't seen her in a while but she's probably still prepping for the competition it's tomorrow not that I'll be able to compete 
What with this whole spooky situation going on, Martin Size. Got questions for me? Uh, dance competition. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Got questions for me? About the noises. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. I don't even know for sure. I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost's Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it, or I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen, and get this. I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Got a question for me? You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me- yeah, It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com, but now I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on, except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I find it really hard to calm down. I understand ghosts are scary, but it might it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh, let's try a visualiz visualization exercise. What's a visualization uh, exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend, imagine, you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cold breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach, this isn't a safe beach. There's no, there's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But then, the, but the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghost run at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I'm gonna give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Yes! Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Got questions for me? Not at the moment. Sit down. Do you got something that I could clean that thing's teeth with? Hi, hello, are you okay? Yes. You sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh, uh, well. Is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions? Yes. The ghost. Can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist? Not toe scientist? That makes so much more sense. I thought you were a toe scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know. Uh, you know. Because you like toast? Yeah. Why have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Questions? Yes. I'm nervous. It's very nervous, may I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. I'm sure to I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. 
Sorry, you're so afraid of me. Fine. You've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh, uh, well. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. If you ask Mystery Monkey and find out, I can give you this mouth wash, mouth wash in return. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Questions? Nothing right now. Come back later. What would you like to know? Dance styles. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and, um, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, oh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask you is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, mm, I think break dancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would be, I would swoon. I would even go so, yeah, I would even go so far as to say, if I saw someone break dance, I would be so deeply impressed. I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Got a monkey fact. I'm coming, Mr. Mouse. You have some questions? Questions, yes. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing. The best breakdancing. I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's a mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Can I see some breakdancing? Can I see some breakdancing? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, he's getting jiggy. He's getting jiggy. He's dancing. More your questions. Ask me them. The questions I mean. Let's make some dynamite. You're on the right check, but we still need to. Ah, oh, that's right. I forgot to. Duh, I forgot to go bring the mouthwash to the gator lizard thingy. I can't tell what it is. Oh, it's a gator. It's a gator or a crocodile. Back for questions. Take it away, D-Tech. Mouthwash. Ask the mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Maybe I'll use your toothpaste. I almost forgot. Here you go, D-Tech. Now I'm curious to see how we're going to make a bomb out of toothpaste, pasta, gold, and wool. More questions? Ask me them. Da -da -da -da. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You got everything. Yup. Amazing. Should I make some dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite. We can get exploding, baby. Well, this is it. Yup. Time to let this came up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Oh, sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. 
Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Looking for clues. Uh, I have no clue what this magnifying glass does. I haven't saw anything with it. You're dancing down here. Is this his friend dancing? That's what I thought it would have been. Yeah, Finley. Oh, hi. This is a ghost. Who are you? Are you a ghost? Uh, what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Mm, yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finlay. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finlay? I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yep. What are you doing down here? Actually, for the dance competition, it's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, mmm, geez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Haha, <laughs> haha, wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Haha, <laughs> nah, it's me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so, he never comes down here. Really, why not? Thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though, perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight haha <laughs> yeah aren't you tired i mean i take naps and these mushrooms are super nutritious gross mushrooms are disgusting that's your opinion detective no it's a fact okay anyway martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island any idea what the noises could be hmm i've been listening to my radio while dancing this cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped, too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave's been blocked off by rocks. Haha, <laughs> really? Haha. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Haha. <laughs> That'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, we should get. We should head back up to the island. Yup. So it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be Finley trapped down there. Because someone before said they heard bird noises and Finley is a bird. Martin. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so warped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface sounded super spooky, but... My ghost books! I'm so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. Just goes to show you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Books are without exception. Factually inaccurate. Yep. Grace Brooks, hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and inform informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. Make sure you get information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Okay, woman. We do, we do. Anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So the rest to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yup. I'm in it to win it. Still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition? Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? 
Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, Detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry? Is that the, the loft or the one who talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So shall we boogie? Let's go. Oh, my throat hurts from non-stop talking. Hmm. Grace Bruxner did a good game. I thought this was a good, fun, silly game. Nice small indie team. Sturdy. Okay, I think you practice enough. Wait a minute. I'm judging. I'll do it. I gotta, I gotta play wingman and vote for the mouse. Yep. Wow. Well, that was, that was a really good, goofy game. Can't wait to play the other two cases. Oh, there's more. A little bit later. Frog Detective, Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking, how may I help you? Detective, Supervisor, great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you, I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at that dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? I was on TV. It was on TV, every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you're certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. 
We need our best investigator on the job. Lobster cop wasn't available. No. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. The detective will return in. The case of the invisible wizard. Okay, so that's the uh, finished case one. Uh, I think that's a good stopping point. I will continue tomorrow. Bye.